We'll begin solving this question by using the Rayleigh criterion. The next thing we need to do is use this technique that we did with the double slit and the single slit experiment questions, and that is to make the approximation that sine theta is equal to tangent theta. This allows us to rewrite the Rayleigh criterion into this form right here, which is h over l is equal to 1.22 times lambda divided by a. So here's what these variables mean. Let's start off with the more obvious one. So lambda is simply the wavelength. a is the aperture or the diameter. It's simply the opening for the lens. Right here, the variable l stands for the separation distance, or sometimes we call it the altitude. In certain questions. What this is referring to is how far away must I be so that I can distinguish two points from one another. Let's take for example a car with its headlights and it's coming towards you. Now if you're very far away from the car, the headlights, the light source looks like one beam of light. However, as you approach the car, or the car approaches you, you'll notice that there's actually two sources of light. So this is what that L variable is referring to. H represents what's called the resolving distance. Now the resolving distance is simply how far away those two points are from one another. So let's say, let's go back to the car example. Now the headlights, now you're able to distinguish that there are two sources two sources of light. So how far away are those two sources from one another? That's what this h variable is referring to. So if we go ahead and rearrange this formula and solve for the separation distance, or in this case, the altitude of the satellite, we'll get that L is equal to h times a divided by 1.22 times lambda. Now, if we go ahead and plug in our variables, the h variable we were told that it was one meter apart. So this is the spacing between the two green lights. So that's the resolving distance. And the diameter was 30 centimeters. We convert that to standard units of meters. So we get 0 0.30 meters. And we divide it by 1.22. Now if you're curious about what this 1.22 is, it's just this constant variable that's kept in this equation right here. It doesn't change. It's always there when we're dealing with Rayleigh criterion questions. Now the wavelength we were told was 500 nanometers. So we convert that by making it 500 times 10 to the minus ninth meters. This will give us an altitude of 492 kilometers or 492 times 10 to the third power.